What's up guys, welcome to today's video. For those of you guys that are new to our YouTube channel, my name is Cody and I want to personally thank you for taking time to watch today's content. In today's video we're going to be talking about how to beat man-to-man coverage in Madden NFL 16. We're going to be utilizing the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook and we're going to be going against a really good defense in the Arizona Cardinals. Now one of the most popular plays defensively in the game this year is the quarter one three seven and it's the two man under quarterback contain or it's the man up three deep with press coverage. The two are they basically the mechanics basically work the same. The two man under quarterback contain is going to already have them pressed up. And so that's why we're going to use that for our discussion today. But the goal here is to teach you how to beat man defense. Now there's three primary ways that you are going to want to go about beating man to man defense in an article that I read online talking about how NFL teams beat man coverage what we found is that uh, there's a couple of key principles and you can find this link in the description below this video but the first one is to have a superior receiver so this is going to go into your rating system and what you're going to want to do here I want to go ahead and show you what you're going to want to look for uh, when you're looking at trying to improve your man beating skills uh, what you want to do is you want to have receivers with good route running and you want to put those receivers with that good route running in your offensive system so here we have Michael Crabtree and Amari Cooper who have decent route running the rest of the Raiders actually don't have very effective route running so they're not going to be a great team to beat man-to-man -man coverage one other key component that I think is overlooked is your speed and your acceleration if you have fast receivers they're also going to be able to do a good job at getting open you see here the Raiders don't really have any fast receivers either unfortunately um, and so you know these top two receivers are really the only two that we're going to have that are going to be able to be superior so that enters the question, well, how do you beat man coverage if you don't have superior receivers? Well, you beat man coverage if you don't have superior receivers by implementing the next two strategies for beating man-to-man -man defense. The second strategy is to have a receiver in motion. And when you have receivers in motion, what it's going to do is it's going to get them off the jam. It's going to give them a free release, and they're going to be able to have their uh, momentum moving, and so it's going to be a lot more, uh, a lot more feasible for them to beat man coverage. And then the third way, and probably the most popular way that NFL teams beat man-to-man -man defense, is by creating natural picks and rubs with route combinations and formation uh, formation setups. What this means, what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to group receivers together to hopefully force the defense to basically run into one another. It's almost like you're playing in basketball, the popular play, the pick and roll. This is basically what you're going to be doing on this on this Madden NFL 16 console. The idea is to create routes, route combinations where the defense runs into one another and so one of the two receivers will come open. Uh, this actually was a concept that was ran by Pete Carroll a slant flat concept uh, which is a man beating type route combination and unfortunately for Pete Carroll uh, Malcolm Butler just made a great play on the football in the Super Bowl this season so anyways we are in the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook and we're going to try to implement some of these strategies here and we're going to do this from the shotgun and we're going to do it from the shotgun empty Saint. This is a very popular formation. One thing to quickly note about this formation is there's a lot of things you can do with the right stick. If you go to your packages, you see this in the lower left hand side of the formation uh, of the play call screen here. And if you cycle through your packages, you can actually, you know, change what type of package, what type of players are on the field. Uh, the, the the formation that I or the the, the um, the thing that I like to do is the tight end ISO package is an interesting one. Also, the base package is interesting because it's going to put a fullback in. And for the Raiders, we're going to be able to have Marcel Reese on the field uh, along with Latavius Murray. So we're going to go with the base package. Now, the play that we're going to be utilizing, what we're hoping to get is, again, we're hoping to get a natural pick and a natural rub for the receiver. So we're going to look to try to create that with uh, some of these routes here. So we're going to try to utilize the play uh, Saints Deep In. Okay, that's the play that we're going to use. Um, another good play that you could probably try to implement this concept with is the Saints Wheel. Um, and you could also probably implement this with Saints Stick and Nod. Uh, and, and numerous other plays throughout this formation, but the core concept uh, hopefully will remain the same. So we're going to utilize Saints Deep In. All right, and what we're going to do to beat man coverage is we're going to try to put Crabtree on a drag, and we're going to motion him in, and before he stops his momentum, we're going to snap it. And you see he's going to come underneath here, 
and with the and, and we're going to be able to get him the ball. Okay, so now th now he dropped the ball obviously, and and that's not too great of a look here. So now we're going to try to do one other thing. We're going to try to get him um, a natural pick and a natural rub. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put Marcel Reese here, this um, this guy uh, 45, your your fullback. And we're going to take him, we're going to put him on a zig route. Now, the reason we're going to put him on a zig route is twofold. The first one is because it's an unbumpable pattern, and so it's going to stand a decent chance at beating man to man coverage. I want to just show you this route stock as it goes. And you see that with Marcel Reese's speed, he's going to get a nice matchup. And this is against cornerbacks. This is against guys that have high man coverage. There he takes it in for a touchdown. But the key is speed because he gets off the jam so quick. Okay, now I want to show you this in instant replay, and this is actually a formation that is very interesting to me because of its ability to pick up pressure and ability to beat man-to-man -man coverage. So what you're going to see here is we're going to put Marcel Reese on a whip route uh, against the press two men under coverage. He's unbumpable. We're going to pass lead that to the outside, and you see he's going to get a nice, he's going to be able to really, you know, beat the defense for a big game. Okay, so that's the first component and the first reason as to why we do this. The second reason as to why we do this is we're hoping that this is going to create a natural pick and rub from Michael Crabtree's guy. So we're going to have Crabtree on that drag and Reese on that zig. And we're going to motion him in and you're going to see here that he's going to pick off that guy. And that's a really good example for us to look at on the uh, instant replay. So we look at this on instant replay and what we're going to notice is first and foremost that Crabtree, when motioned, his corner goes back a little bit. He goes backs off a little bit. The second thing is that Marcel Reese's route, because it breaks to the outside, and Crabtree's route breaks to the inside, you're going to see, you see this right here, this confusion? Look at this. This, this is perfect. This is exactly what we're looking for. They're running into one another. As you see this, they're running into one another. And look, both both of them are now open. Okay? So that that is in a nutshell what we're trying to accomplish. Now if you notice, and, and one other thing I want you to notice here in this replay, now this is building off of some of Danny Gonzalez's uh, passing concepts uh, and tips for implementing a complete passing system and we'll try to get a link for that in the description as well uh, so you can check that out. But check out his article and it, it, it takes you, walks you through the entire uh, purpose and schematics for how to create your own personal passing system uh, with NFL concepts. And so you can check that article out by Chris Brown on smartfootball.com. But if you take if you take a look here, uh, Lee Smith, what you're going to see is first and foremost, he's jammed at the line of scrimmage. Now, unfortunately, that's going to create some timing problems for his pattern. And also, if you notice him coming on this crossing pattern, what you're going to see here is as, you know, it, it, as he starts to develop, and if we're playing a zone defense, these two guys are very close together. You see how they're very close together? Unfortunately, that's not going to be a very good look for us. And so we're going to want to make one other adjustment, minor tweak to this, to hopefully uh, work this out. Okay, so the last minor thing that we want to do is we want to put Reese on that whip route, Crabtree on this drag route, and then we want to take Smith and we want to make him unbumpable. So we're going to do that. There's two ways we can do that. The first way is to put him on a flat zone. We'll show you this real quick. So this is Smith on a flat zone, and you see, unfortunately, he's just going to tail out and, and doesn't really do anything for the, for the offense. The next thing that we can do is we can put him on a crossing pattern, a drag route, because that's another unbumpable read. But you're going to see that if we do this, Smith is, it's a lot of congestion. It's a lot of congestion, not a really good look, and you see that we're, we're sacked. So the final option that we have for Lee Smith is to put him on a hitch route. That's the only route that's left that's not, um, that is a, a unbumpable hot route. So we place him on this hitch route. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to smart route this route to clear out some space. And what we're basically going to do against zone coverage is we're going to create a nice curl to flat concept within the middle of the field. And then against man coverage, hopefully what we're going to be able to do is create a really nice little man beater. So against man coverage, we go. And now you see the, the pick and rub, and Marcel Reese is open in the flat for a big game. Okay, so this is kind of a walkthrough of how to create man beaters. Uh, this is from the Saints playbook, but you can do this out of any formation in the game. Um, but what you see here is this basic concept, little natural pick and rub. The defenders run into one another, create space to throw the football and get it out of your hands. Okay, so that's the key. And then one final thing I want to show you this is I want to show you this if the defense calls pressed man to man, um, because sometimes it, you know it, this works a little bit differently if they're they don't manually press. But when you manually press out of the two man under, what you're going to see is this is actually going to work even better. You see Marcel Reese's route is now going to be even more open uh, to the outside there. Okay, so that is just a little bit of what we like to do 
to beat man-to-man -man defense in this year's game. Uh, and I really, really think that, guys, this video has some weight, and I think you should you know, take the time to watch this. This is universal. You, this is all through your hot routes uh, and the ability to beat it. It's just a natural pick and rub. And in this video, you see that we're able to get Marcel Reese free. But sometimes um, you're going find to find out that sometimes um, you're going to be able to actually get uh, Crabtree free. And there's all these all these other things that you can do um, to, to, to get some separation here. Okay. So just want to keep you posted on how to beat man. I think it's something that we have to continually work to beat. This is just a simple little, uh, little read here that you can utilize uh, to beat man to man. And, um, and yeah, so, uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hopefully, hopefully this spoke to you a little bit. I'm gonna try to look into this five wide receiver scheme a little bit more. Maybe put a little, maybe put a little uh, e guide together from New Orleans. It's one of the more, uh, in terms of depth, it's got a lot of depth in the playbook, and so it can be definitely something that we can utilize uh, to to really, you know, really have some success on the offensive side of the ball this season. So, uh, be sure to stay posted on that. But until that, guys, we do have a St. Louis guide coming out, and if you guys are having trouble beating man-to-man -man defense, this. St. St. Louis guide is definitely something that you want to look into because it is very, very strong with man beaters, and uh, and I can't wait to get into that one for you guys. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. Uh, guys, it really does uh, mean a lot to me that you guys take the time to watch my videos, and so I want to answer your questions. And so if you have any questions related to Madden NFL 16, if you could leave a comment on this video with your specific question, I will take uh, a specific video to answer all of your questions. Okay, So if you guys could do that for me, I would really appreciate it. Otherwise, you're, you know, otherwise, I can't answer your questions if I don't know what they are. So thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it.